So this computer, this one, does not have a dedicated video card inserted into it. It's removed. It should be there on that blue slot. That's the PCI Express slot. So now it's using only the onboard video card and properties. It's a 32-bit operating system, so it won't recognize more than around 3 gigabytes of memory out of the 5 installed into this computer. So after patching the Windows with this program, it will recognize almost all the memory, but not entirely because the onboard video card in the computer it's also using some of that memory. Okay, let's turn this off. Start the patch program. User account control is turned on. Yes, I accept it. And this is the program. Just press this button, patch x86 RAM lock. The program is doing its job and the kernel is successfully patched. Close the program, restart the computer. Shutting down. And here will be shown the total memory installed. Okay. The program added another boot menu entry, this one, Windows 7 ohne DDRAM Sperre, it's probably in German. Ok, so this one is the unmodified 32-bit Windows 7 and this one will load the patched version of the program. So we'll start that one, press enter. It's the same Windows 7 32-bit but one single file is patched and thus the all content of the memory will be recognized and used by Windows 7. And welcome Windows 7 Ultimate. It's also working in the most basic version of Windows 7, Windows 7 Starter. Okay, so let's check computer properties. And this time it says out of 5 gigabytes, 4.7 gigabytes are usable. So almost all the memory is usable. Task manager and performance. Total memory 4.8 gigabytes. Here it says 4.75 gigabytes whatever okay but the rest of the memory it's used because the onboard video card is using some of it so that one can't be enabled unless I use the dedicated video card okay that's it bye bye after entering the BIOS press that enter BIOS okay somewhere we can set how much memory to allocate to the video card. Primary graphics adapter is the onboard one. Okay, share memory. Oh, let's try this one. Only 16 megabytes of memory to the video card. That should produce some errors. Press F10 to save and exit. Okay. The patch done, the screen flickers because it's calibrating itself. Okay, Windows starts. Start normally. Starting the patched one, patched Windows 7. If it starts. Doesn't look like. It wants to start. Oops. Nothing. Okay, maybe it needs more memory. Uh, let's try the magic button. The 
that is the reset button and enter the BIOS, press there okay advanced chipset share memory let's give 64 megabytes F10 to save and exit okay let's see if it starts with 64 megabytes of memory for the video card on the onboard video card okay yes the patched windows start normally hmm it's starting now the LED is blue oh huh, it's working interesting the colors are nice okay let's see Com computer properties Ooh, 5 gigabytes 32-bit operating system no memory limitation interesting because 64 megabytes are allocated to the video card hmm that's interesting let's see test manager okay performance Five zero five five megabytes total memory. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try another one. Restart. Restart. Let's try with thirty-two megabytes of memory. Press there to enter BIOS. Okay. Advanced chipset configuration shared memory let's see 32 megabytes F10 on the keyboard save yes the computer starts yes the patched one hmm. this starts it doesn't complain not yet, at least. Okay, it started. If there's a watermark here, we set test mode that can be eliminated with this program. Yes, and pressing on the right side of the program this button remove watermark but I don't know why it's not present here okay close let's see the properties again 32 bit operating system 5 gigabytes of memory very interesting Task manager 508, so a little bit more memory. It was 505, I think. Okay, let's see the colors screen resolution. Hmm. Advanced. It's a 32 bit color depth. It's 32 megabytes of memory. Interesting. Well, let's start the video. Hmm. And it's played. Hmm, interesting. 32 megabytes of memory. Now let's restart the computer. Restart. Now let's give it 16 megabytes of memory. 16 megabytes. President router setup. Come on, advanced. Chipset. 16 meg. Oh, I think I tried that one. 16 megabytes. F10 to save it. Okay. 
I think it won't start. At least last time it didn't start it with 60 megabytes. The monitor sled is orange. It's blue, it turned on. Okay. Patched windows, starting windows, and not starting windows. So, with 60 megabytes of memory dedicated to the video card, to the onboard video card, Windows 7 won't start. Resetting the computer and let's try with the unpatched version of Windows. It shouldn't start there either because the memory it's only the video memory it's only 60 megabytes 32 bit without RAM sperre. Okay. Start normally and Windows is not starting. Okay, resetting. Uh oh the unpatched version is starting with 16 megabytes of memory dedicated to the video card. Interesting. Ooh, no more transparency. These are not transparent anymore. Let's see. Let's see computer properties. 3.4 gigabytes usable because it's not patched. Let's see the video. Uh, screen resolution, advanced settings, <laughs> dedicated video memory 16 megabytes, that's done from the BIOS, okay, and 32 bit color depth, with 16 megabytes of memory for the video card, okay.